Hey guys, we will be looking at the belts and pulleys in this module. The standard belt sizes are listed here in this slide. So a single sided belt, uh, you know, in terms of the uh, thickness are categorized into uh, mini extra light or MXL, then extra light or XL, then light L, heavy H, extra heavy XH, and the double extra heavy XXL. Uh, the numbers in the parenthesis indicate the pitch of these uh, timing belts and the other number indicates uh, either the height or thickness. And the standard pulley width are also divided into these uh, similar categories starting from the mini extra light and extra light, then light and all the way up to the double extra heavy so we're going to make use of uh, the standard available options for these belts and the pulleys uh, to design the belt and pulley assembly in the SOLIDWORKS. Now the SOLIDWORKS doesn't differentiate between the belts and pulleys versus the chains and the sprockets. So we're going to be looking at the belts and pulleys in this example and the similar approach can be used for the chains and the sprockets. So first thing we're going to do is take a look at uh, the uh, macmaster.com and let's take a look at what are the options available here. So if I'm typing the uh, timing belt pulleys or the timing belts, we can see some of the examples uh, for the uh, different sizes. So for depending on if you want to go with the inch or metric or uh, depending on what is the maximum belt width based on the application uh, and also the number of teeth that you need to have. Also the shaft diameter, uh, what is the uh, belt tread size. So all these uh, you know input parameters you can uh, plug it in here and then based on that depending on the material also the teeth, sh uh, teeth shape. There's so many different options that you can uh, customize the pulleys and build uh, you know your own belt and pulley system for example uh, a very simple l series timing belt pulleys um, again the similar thing as with the threads and fasteners or the gears you can click on a particular uh, part and then go to the product detail and then scroll down below to see its drawing as well as the solidworks part file that you can directly use uh, for your uh, practical uh, purposes or you know for your designs uh, again the same thing as with the gears the uh, the bullies uh, the pulleys are also um, you know characterized with uh, you know these standard nomenclatures uh, the hub diameter or and what is the shaft diameter also uh, the uh, outside width and also the inside width or the overall width so these are some of the standard uh, uh, numbers that you can use uh, to design your own pulley. Um, let's go to the SOLIDWORKS and take a look at uh, one example. What we're going to be doing is define the uh, three different shafts to be inserted on this plate on these three uh, different hole locations and then we're going to mount the pulleys on them and then design the belt that will go around uh, these three different pulleys. So let's go to the design library and uh, under the power transmission you can find the timing belt pulleys and you can see the timing belt pulley is the only option available here so I'm going to right click and create part Let's design the pulley with the belt pitch 0.200 XL. Uh, we're going to be using the inches system of units. The belt width is 0.38 inches. Pulley style will be flanged. Uh, you can also have the unflanged option and you can see uh, how it appears uh, similar to the gear. Uh, so we're going to make that flange so that we can uh, confine the belt. Uh, within within it during the operation. Uh, hub diameter 0.5 inch, overall length 0.75 inch. Um, the nominal shaft diameter is quarter inch and that's how the holes on the plates are also created. And show grooves 24. 
I'm going to click on the check mark and then uh, starting off with this plate we're going to start building the assembly and then we will come back uh, to make the belt. So I'm going to go to the file make assembly from part and let's get the part 2 which is the plate. I'm also going to insert the components which is the uh, shaft. So I'm going to make three of these uh, shafts and the first thing I want to do is assemble them using the standard made options. So the axis align first. I'm going to repeat this procedure for all three different shafts. And then uh, will align their back faces with the back face of the plate. All right, so once the shafts are mounted, then what I will be doing is uh, inserting the uh, pulley in here. So I'm going to go to the insert component and let's get this pulley that we just built it. Let's create more instances of it. And again, the same thing that I'll be doing is to assemble these pulleys on the shafts. So let's go to mate and let's align the axis first. I'm going to flip the alignment so that the pulley is assembled in the right orientation and the hub is facing backwards. Uh, same thing for the other shafts. I'm going to complete it. Uh, in fact, I wanted to again do the uh, mate alignment reversal. And once we're done with this, uh, then I'm going to uh, again, use the front face of the shaft with the flat front face of the pulley for all three of these uh, pulleys so that they are uh, having the, you know, similar plane orientations. And so once we're done with this uh, installation of the uh, pulleys on the shafts, uh, then we can now go ahead and start with the creation of the belt. So in order to do that, uh, let's go to insert and then go to the assembly feature. Then click on belt slash chain. Like I said in the beginning, SolidWorks does not really distinguish between the belt and the chain. So the same thing will be used uh, even if you are using either the belt or the chain. So I'm going to click on that option and then I want to select what will be the path for uh, this belt to wrap around and go around with this pulley. So I'm going to start off with the uh, first flat face on the first pulley and so that a yellow circle will appear and then depending on how I want to go ahead with creating the uh, direction of that belt I'm going to make further selections. So for example, the second selection, I'm going to make it with the second pulley and you can see a uh, pattern is developed, but I want to include the third pulley as well. So I'm going to click on the bottom flat face uh, on the teeth of that pulley as well. So now I have a complete loop created for uh, this belt and pulley arrangement. Now the most important thing here is that once we make this selection, sometimes it doesn't really work out depending on how many pulleys are there uh, and the way that we want to have the path for the belt created. So in that case, we can make use of these up and down arrows to change the order. For example, if I click here or there, uh, you know, the order of the uh, pulleys can be changed. You can also click on the belt side flip um, sometimes if you want to have a specific uh, plane position for the belt, we can even uh, select that. Uh, 
um, but otherwise we can just simply go and uh, click on the create belt part without clicking on the create belt part we're not going to be able to proceed any further so make sure that we keep this create belt part option checked and then click OK it's going to say that the assembly will be saved uh, let's uh, save it uh, at some locations and the yellow color belt path will be now turned into the uh, you know the gray color uh, with uh, replacing that by a simple sketch line so now what we will be doing is to add a feature on this sketch line uh, for the belt so I'm going to expand this belt and underneath that you will see another option that says belt assembly so I'm going to right click on it and then click on the edit part once I click on the edit part then we will go to the features tab and then click on the extruded boss slash base and then I'm going to make selection of this sketch line so that that particular loop for the belt will be completely filled up with the solid material uh, as we've selected selected the boss extrude option but obviously you know we don't want that so we can click on the thin feature and then adjust the uh, thickness of the belt so for example if I increase this number you can see the belt is getting thicker and thicker and so depending on whatever the requirement is and also you know make sure that we are using the correct units for the um, requirement that we have so at this point uh, you know since we've already started off with the uh, millimeter system of units I'm just gonna let it continue with this and just for the uh, demonstration purposes I'm just gonna choose one number uh, let's say I use three millimeters for the uh, thickness of this belt okay and then we can also change the uh, direction so right now we can see extruded direction is only on one side of that sketch where the sketch was started in the middle of that pulley so it makes sense to switch this to mid plane and so that way we can uh, have the belt coming in between uh, you know the two flanges of of that particular pulley Again, we can adjust the um, number for the belt width, uh, which by default it will try to fit it in uh, within the two flanges of that pulley. But if not, we have the exact number. We can again plug that in there. And once we've done with uh, the width input and the thickness input, then we can click on the check mark and then come out of the editing mode on the top right corner in the graphics region. And that is how the belt pulley assembly can be created. For the verification purpose, I can simply drag on one of the uh, pulleys and I can see that all the other pulleys are also moving along in the same direction as the driving pulley is. Um, you know, this is a visualization, so you're not going to be able to see the uh, belts moving as such. So the only way to verify this is by uh, moving this pulleys or assigning the power to the shafts on the pulleys and that way you can see the other pulleys are also engaged and they are being driven uh, with the help of this belt so that's a very quick and easy way of creating the belt and pulleys uh, in the SOLIDWORKS thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one